These crafter flowers from Altenew are beautiful and today we're going to be adding our colour with watercolours. Hi there, it's Therese and I'm here for Altenew and I'm introducing the new crafter flower today. This is the Cistus and you might kind of recognise this flower, it's actually the same or very similar flowers that you get in the Flowering Cistus stamp set which is absolutely stunning as well and it has two different flowers in the set as well as two leaves. They are a layering set as the crafter flowers are and really easy to use and today I want to be doing some watercolouring to add my colour to the flowers. So obviously the best way to start here is to grab some watercolour cardstock so I've got the pad from Altenew and this means that I can add as little or as much water as I want. I won't have to be so restrictive on how much water I'm adding because if I just use normal white cardstock, which I could do, if you add too much water it's going to peel and um, mash up the cardstock and it won't look pretty. Now I'm cheating here by die cutting everything pretty much all at once. Everything's going to fit onto this one piece of cardstock and fit through my die cutting machine and I find that's just such a time saver. When I remove my flowers and leaves from my die cuts what I actually am doing here is keeping them together as they are so that way I know which layers like the very solid layer is the base layer then there's the middle and then the one with the least paper in it <laughs> that's going to be the bit that goes on top so it's very similar to the layer of stamping in this respect all right I want to create white flowers today so I'm adding black paint yes I am <laughs> well it's called the rock collection actually so it's almost black it's grey really I suppose but the good thing about paint is the more water you add to it the lighter it will be watercolors are very forgiving in that way and yes I'm coming in and adding more and I'm mostly adding it where the shadows are going to be like where the flowers are going to layer on top of each other and I know it looks like a lot at the moment but it does dry back lighter and I promise you it will look wonderful in the end don't freak out now these leaves weren't really turning out the colour that I wanted to so I did come in and add a second colour green and that's the good thing about watercolours is that you can mix them. I like to mix on a separate palette not actually on my watercolour tin because I like that to be pretty and that's just weird I know don't hold it against me <laughs> and because I'm working on the silicon mat here I can actually use my heat tool because it's heat resistant if I was just heating directly uh, even though I'm not holding it on for a long time um, the cutting mats don't tolerate heat but these silica mats do they're like the oven ones that you cook your biscuits on to layer up my flowers I'm using a liquid glue because this is watercolor cardstock I have added water I have added heat and I don't want them to fall apart. I know that the liquid glue is going to hold very strongly and it does give me a little bit of time to move the pieces of the flower around and make sure that I'm happy with the placement before I commit <laughs> and let them dry and it doesn't take long to dry seriously and these flowers I don't think I even looked at the packaging maybe for this last little bit here only they are really obvious in the layers some things aren't so much but these particular flowers and leaves are you can tell just by looking at them where they're meant to be and I didn't adhere the center of these flowers straight up because I wasn't sure if I was going to use them or not but I did <laughs> and I've got some pale gray cardstock that I'm attaching to the front of a top fold A2 card and then I've also got some dark grey cardstock that I've popped up on a couple of layers of fun foam here. And then for my little bouquet, I just moved it round till I was happy. I added some 
one millimeter foam squares foam circles I think they actually are so they're not very high but I did build them up so that my bouquet didn't sit wonky and the sentiment I've got here today it's from the airbrushed flowers set and I already had this sentiment made for another project and hadn't used it and I thought it just went perfectly with these colors I know white on black <laughs> wink it is going to go perfectly with anything so thanks for joining me here today I'll list everything that I've used today at the blog and that link will be in the description below look forward to seeing you again real soon till next time bye